can see my hubby out there, Steve, pumping gas. Could not believe the price of gas. If nothing else, um, it's wonderful to be able to afford to fill your car up. I know a lot of you are probably filling that. So, you know, I'm trying to think and grasp at every single thing that is a plus during this tough and trying times that we're all in. Um, we came out for a ride. I had been in the house for days and I'd been feeling it, feeling a little bit of that, um, it's pressure <laughs> and just being in and, and it was warm. It was in the sixties, but it's dropping. It's down in the fifties now. It's rained. Can't get out and really do anything. If it was sunny and, you know, warm, I would absolutely love being stuck at the house. You know, go out in the back or take care of the chickens or, you know, all of those options that we could do. Take a walk. Saying how we have to look for all the good things with what's going on. Yeah. And at least gas is down in price. Yeah. Um, all right. We went to the uh, P.O. box and... Um, I didn't think there'd be anything and there wasn't, which is not a big deal because we just hadn't checked it for a while. So I know a lot of people are doing like we're doing, staying in. Yeah, it's dropping in temperature and that wind's blowing. Oh, it's getting cold now? Yeah, and I'm in shorts and t-shirt because it was warm out oh. long ago. <laughs> yeah, it was in the 60s, wasn't it? Yeah, now it's not. <laughs> oh. And, oh, it's 48. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did drop. <laughs> And I didn't wear a jacket either. But anyway, I think that we're going to treat ourselves to a blizzard or something. And we're going to take you guys along for the ride. I know that when I did my Bible study earlier, several of you guys, you know, the, the comments that you left and that you can't wait till we start cooking and stuff. And I thought, you know, they're out there wherever they, you know, all the states that you guys live in. And you're alone a lot of you live alone so I thought we need to uh, perk ourselves up and get out and share a little bit of of something different so that at least you're seeing um, different things you're hearing us and that's what it's all about we got to help each other out whatever it takes to get through these tough times because like I said earlier, um, I have felt depression and anxiety creeping back up in me. And um, I've been really, really praying hard to overcome that so that I can be a, a help to you guys and to whoever else that I, you know, talk to. Do you have anything that you'd like to say, honey? No, just I've been bored today, which is my own <laughs> fault because I could got up and do, done stuff that needs done. But I've just been laying back in the yeah. recliner or well, it's, reading a little bit. It's just like I started out doing really good. I started out spring cleaning and, you know, got several of the rooms done. Well, there's, I never did do our bedroom and yeah. there's so much more that I could do. I just haven't felt like it. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I need to carry stuff down from the laundry room and put it in the basement so I can get that yeah. painted and get the linoleum down that we bought. Yeah. Last, whatever. Last month. <laughs> That's true. We we got we can get that done, and that would give the you know viewers yeah. out there something to to watch, and maybe we'll try and get that started. I'll, yeah, I'll get started on it tomorrow. I can't paint until it warms up. Yeah, yeah. I can open the windows out there, but and like we said today, it was warm, but it yeah. was raining. Yeah, had a thunderstorm. Man, it come through too. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. It was like almost. Horizontal rain yeah. that was blowing so hard. All right, let's um, turn you guys around for a little bit and let's see what we can pick out at Dairy Queen because they have a drive-through and uh, chickens. Oh, by the chickens road. right beside the road. They better get over. Somebody's <laughs> gonna have them a chicken dinner. <laughs> Talking about how some people are saying that everything looks like it's it's dead there's no traffic it's a ghost town whatever but really it's not that much of a difference I guess the only difference is is the movie places are closed and the libraries and the gyms and the hair salons and a lot of the stores but there's still people out there working so now not in this stretch here you're not gonna see a lot of traffic but 
more toward where the P.O. box was. There was quite a bit of traffic still there. People getting off of work. Huh? Yeah. And, you know, this... They put in a new highway through here, so people don't take this road as much. So, most people take the highway now, so... Oh, okay. But... This was a different way to go for us this time. Just some a change. And yeah, something get different out to look something. at. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been down through here for a while because, like most people, I take the new highway. So. Yeah. So I, I decided to go this way this time. So. I think looking at the four walls at home, and I love our little house, but. And you know what's funny is knowing that we can't really get out a lot and knowing what is closed kind of makes it worse. If you, like, if I'm just at home anyway, you're not doing anything, it doesn't bother me. But knowing that we can't really, it's like it plays a mental game with you. Do you agree or no? No. No, I, because, I don't know. I just <laughs> been lazy today, I guess. Yeah. No, but I mean like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're because we're used to just if we want to, we can run to the store or run to yeah. look at stuff, you know, go down to Amish country and stuff and all that. Yeah. And yeah, now it's like, well, you can't really do that, so. But yet if I didn't do anything. Yeah, then you would. It wouldn't bother yeah. me because I love staying at home. Yeah. That's why I think it is sort of, a, it, well, it is to me. It's kind of playing mind games with me, knowing that I can't, and I really don't want to do anything anyway, so. And it'll start warming up, greening up here pretty soon, and that's like people, I've heard people say, well, if they quarantine the whole country, nobody's allowed to go outside or anything, you're still allowed to go outside at your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can go walk around your yard or go out and do stuff in the garage or whatever if you got all that. That don't mean you can't go outside at all. It just means don't go to stores or places like that. You know those videos that they were showing of Italy? I, they just really touch my heart. All those people that live in those high-rise apartments and stuff they were all on their balconies, the ones that could play music. Did you watch any of those? Yeah, I would listen to them singing and stuff. Yeah, and then there was one of a guy that was playing the piano, and um, somebody, several, several buildings down was playing, um, I think it was a saxophone. Anyway, it's really neat how they all banded together. And Okay, so, what did you get? A Butterfinger. <laughs> you forgot? I forgot. <laughs> I got a Brownie Heath. Caramel. Yeah. Heath Blizzard. Caramel Brownie Blizzard. Mmm. Good. Thumbs up. Not busy here. There was a, um, Great big uh, class A. Class A, and they must have ate. They parked over in the back part. Nice back there though. And they just left, and then we don't see anybody else pulling up. They were busy when we pulled in. Yeah, there was. There was like what five cars ahead of yeah, us, I think. But now it's now slowed it's all, down, mm -hmm. I think. It's getting dark already because it's so cloudy. Yeah. I think the rain's supposed to be done, though, for a couple days. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. My leg's itching. It's weather. I was telling Steve, makes your bones hurt all over. All the dampness that's in the air. I'll turn you around. 
let you see. See the pine trees back there? There's a back parking lot. Nice little area. It's farmland back there. Christmas lights up to, you know, just uh, for encouragement or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that gives me an excuse to decorate for Christmas again. No. And Hallmark Channel's showing a few Christmas movies along the way. Yeah. So, hey, you know. <laughs> I don't think so. I can go put all my thousand Christmas lights back up. <laughs> We got a couple of them that are on the banister by the porch. Yeah, but those are just white lights, so those can stay up all year round and don't really, you know. Yeah, true. Can we bring the Christmas tree back up? No. Up? No, too much work. And I go out and put the nativity scene back up <laughs> and all the Christmas lights. And <laughs> I understand, though, because... It probably yeah. would lift spirits. Yeah. Didn't you say you heard to also put your flags back up? Yeah, put the flag, put your flags out if you don't have them out. Which I usually take mine down during the winter, so I need to put it back out. Yeah. Hey, we had to stop at Tractor Supply and get some uh, crumble for the chickens. Can you straighten that up? The camera keeps going. Oh! Yeah, I can straighten it up. Okay. Well, as we were saying, stopped here at Tractor Supply to get some crumble for the chickens. They had enough probably for another week, maybe, possibly two. But um, Steve was just telling me that there is a possibility that they end up, you know, shutting all the stores down. And figured while we were out around this area, we would go ahead and stop and get a 50 pound bag of it. Yeah, because so, I know, I don't know if it's the whole state of New York, but I think New York City, they were saying, shut down. New York City? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always think of that too when I see that. Oh, I get silly and, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I think they said L.A. was talking about doing it, too, and stuff, yeah. and other states and stuff, so you never know. Yeah. Got to have our Eggies, because we sold out yesterday, sold four dozen, and so today, we, we have about a dozen left now, don't we? Yeah. Like, well, can... and I haven't checked today, yet. Okay. Because I went out earlier to check, and That's one was right. in there laying, so. Yeah. They've been laying, you know, six, seven a day now that it's gotten warm, but... We're getting cold again. Steve said it's going to get down in the 20s. Yeah. So, oh, this Only weather. Only highs of 30, mid-30s tomorrow. I've had a headache for three days in a row. Not constant. Um, it, it'll be for a couple hours, and then it'll ease off, and then it'll come back. It's, it's just constant, you know, back and forth like that for the last three days. And I'm like, it's probably no wonder with the weather, the way that it's changing, and you know, the rain storms coming in. Yeah, because my sinuses has been yeah. crazy. What is that, the barometer or something that yeah. sometimes makes sinuses and headaches come and go? Um, the feed store, I don't know, I don't think you guys could tell, but it was packed, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. We were like, wow. Maybe everybody's packed. thinking because people was buying big bags of dog food. Yeah. And, chicken food and stuff so maybe everybody's thinking like I am they had gorgeous little chicks there still on sale but oh 
we had planned on going, um, we can go ahead and tell you now, um, our son and his family had invited us to go to the Outer Banks. And it was gonna be in the 1st of May, but um, they've closed down the Outer Banks. And, you know, they've got a family they've got to look out for. So decided to go ahead and cancel. And um, it's so weird, but from the very beginning of us all planning this, they came over and we all, you know, were so excited and planned it all. And, and um, our son found the perfect place. And I just, I kept telling Steve, I had a feeling in my gut that it wasn't going to happen. For some reason, I have no idea why. And um, I went ahead and I got a, a house sitter that was going to come and stay at our house for the week and take care of the chickens and, and Willow. And um, so that was all working out good, but it didn't happen. So sometimes, I, I don't know if I was just maybe a little bit what they call gun shy. From last year. From yeah. what happened in October. That could have been. Because I got all excited about that vacation and then had a heart attack and, you know, that was done. So, you're probably right. That's part of what it was. So, we yep. are... Huh? Yep. So, no vacation again this year. It's okay. Unless we end up going someplace in, later in the summer or yeah. September, October, something like that. Yeah. We were still invited... Um, to go to Tennessee again this year, but we don't know if that's going to happen, so we're not going to even talk about it. Um, maybe if we don't talk about it, it might <laughs> happen, right? Who knows? <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and go home and back to the four walls. <laughs> I've got, I finished my book last night and it had a, um, a second book to it, and I have that book too, so I think I might find that and get started reading that tonight I finished my so, one Louis L'Amour book last night I seen you started another but now I've started uh, Killing Lincoln by Bill O'Reilly yeah you have to let me know that's supposed to be really good yeah so. I have been playing Yahtzee. Um, Yahtzee well yesterday I didn't play but every other day and today I've been playing it a lot just sitting at the kitchen table just something to do you know and Willow, every time I go in there and sit, she thinks that I'm getting something to eat, apparently. And she has to come in there and be nosy, <laughs> which is okay. I need to start a jigsaw puzzle since... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't do much of anything else. That would actually be a good idea, probably. Yeah. Might as well bring out our little white little card white table, table yeah. or not card table, but crafting table. We might do that tonight. Just do one that's not real, real hard, so I can help you. <laughs> I don't get. <laughs> I don't get into them great big ones that have a thousand pieces. The last one only had five hundred pieces, and you thought it was too hard. Well, I helped you with that, though. Remember? Yeah. I found a lot because he's colorblind, so some of the stuff doesn't come easy for him. And that's. I do a, the one of peanuts at Christmas. That would be cute. But it's a thousand pieces, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are they bigger pieces, though? I don't know. I ain't opened the box oh. to see. I don't like them little bitty pieces. That's probably what it is. I like the larger pieces. Not great big pieces, but, you know. Nothing super hard. I want it to be a little enjoyable. I got the one of John Wayne. It's all John Wayne pictures and stuff. Is that the so one they'd you got at the thrift look, store? Yeah. They'd all look alike. <laughs> oh, you might not do that one good. Is it black and white or? No, it's color. But you got all these different faces of John Wayne, so you'd have to figure out which notes go yeah. to which <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> That's true. Well, then you go ahead and keep doing them, and I'll just keep playing out to you. <laughs> all right, everybody. Find something fun to do. Find something to bring a smile to your face. And, um, we will talk to you tomorrow because I've got plans. I'm going to cook and film it this time. Um, and I think we do we have any bread left besides what's on the counter? No. So I'll make some bread tomorrow too. Now, I have a really, um, it's an easy recipe for bread that I thought about sharing. And I also, Steve printed off because we have that bread uh, maker 
and he printed off the instructions for that because we lost the instruction manual and I might do that or I might just go ahead and do that easy recipe where you do it by hand I'm gonna do it with our big mixer if I do that one because anytime that you have to constantly um, need that bread I've got arthritis in my joints well it's all over but they're getting really bad like I said this type of weather doesn't help any and kneading bread well oh my goodness it's it's really hard on me so if I do that one I'll use the big um, mixer yeah, that we it's have it's got the hook for yeah it's got a bread hook on it. on it so I don't know I'll decide which one I'm gonna do and I'll make that for you guys also tomorrow so that way you know I'm gonna try and do that I know a lot of you like I said at the beginning are home alone and you might just enjoy watching two uh, grown adults be silly sometimes. Well, uh, I got that big piece of ham that I got out at the meat market. Yeah. So if you make bread, we can make that ham and have some ha hot ham and cheese sandwiches. Oh. That's what I thought about doing with yeah, it. That'd be a good idea. Alrighty, we'll let you know tomorrow. Take care, everybody.